Is the Kansas City playbook on offense still spicy? So at the start of the year, oh. top five? Number one. Number one? Number one. Was it run plays? Everything. Was it Everything. zone beaters were hard at the start of the year? The thing we couldn't have been more wrong about near was, close. was the near close being the best formation in the game. Thought it was going to be the meta. We thought this was going to be the meta. and it just you, you know, it's got a lot of good plays. It just doesn't have enough legs. It, here's why, it gets, here's why I don't think it's good is because the play post drag, which is supposed to be the bread and butter, you can stop it by putting the left defensive guy in a flat. And it like... It significantly, oh, right. it well, significantly that, makes everything worse. Yeah, that, it, I mean, you know? that's a that we co labeled that the best quick pass in the game. Yeah, right, and, and for good reason. Watch, like it's just, that's just spicy. Like that, that's like old school Madden quick pass. Um, yeah, I mean, what's good about it is you, you make them dedicate a resource there. I think all, I think the downfall of this formation is the inability of the inside zone run being a true dominant run. They also made run defense much easier as the year went on. I feel true. like run defense, true. or I learned how to play run defense, or it got easier, or both. I don't yeah. know. I don't really know. And then let's just talk about how it has single back jumbo pair, which is a, just a fantastic formation. It's a good one. Then you got I form in the beginning of the year with the power G. Like you, this was such a good playbook. It had everything you wanted, but I really think that the downfall of this near close is this run here. Like it's it's good, but it's just not as good as like you think it would be. Like it's now I'm like running. I'm like oh, it's kind of like, yeah, it's, it's kind of good. good. Oh, I want to. But it's I tell you that's kind of where people went away from it. Maybe it comes back, but like it's it's a quick developing run. Um, you got the fullback inside. This is a good run. Like. There's a lot of there's a lot of good things about this. I and I also think if you stay dedicated to it, can you make it happen? Yeah, it's got the the post, it's got everything that you need. So that was a little spice at the start of the year for this playbook. What else made it good and then is it still good? Could you still use this book? Like yeah. you love Gun Bunch Quads. What else does it have in shotgun? Gun Bunch Quads is really good. My concern with Gun Bunch Quads will be when people start running nickel blitz flipped on you. Because gotcha. that's going to cause a, a major headache because you're not going to be able to pick it up off the red edge. So you're going to have to motion your tight end over every time. Uh, but, you know, in theory, this is a really powerful formation. If, if blocking, if we were able to pick up pressure uh, better, uh, blocking a tight end and then slide protect and p be able to pick it up, I would be like, this is a, such a good set. Like, just imagine, that, like, this is what Z-Spot would look like, right? You'd go here to Kelsey, you'd streak Wilson, you'd do the baby skimbo to Hill, then you did the backside Conley. And then on the left side here, you'd have a stock cover two beater. So it, you're, you're facing nickel blitz. I, I could just put my guy over here on a quick out, and then I just do the four o'clock pass lead game, right? Right, you get back there, you see, because I, I can't pick the pressure up, so mm -hmm. that's why I, can, I have to throw it sooner. But so, this, like in theory, it's like the perfect play, but you just have to get your pass protection in order, right? So you got the, the two verticals on the left, you got a quick drag, you got the baby skimbo, then you have the delayed post. It is, I mean, it's just, it's just tough. Get down there, bang. But really good set, really good audibles. You have verticals, what a, I mean, it's yeah, verticals. so good about it. You also have a great gun bunch too. Um, really good, you also have um, the Empty Chief, which a lot of people like. A lot of people like that in the Empty Saint. Does it have most of the same plays or not quite? Strike. Doesn't, doesn't have corner strike. Have corner strike. But corner strike's gone down in popularity since the, the Cloud yeah. Flat patch title update 10. But your gun bunch is very good. Um, I still think I wish this worked as a better scheme this year. I remember revisiting the beginning of the year, yeah. the, uh, the old shovel option. Mm -hmm. I felt like this was going to be something that was going to be really tough, a big time meta thing, like right here, and then that little pitch inside. Uh, Malcolm, Malcolm. It's too, too tough. Uh, but there, I would say this is the uh, one the one playbook in the game that has, oh my God, like how is this not like the best th scheme in the game? It, although it just, it doesn't like, it, it doesn't translate from practice into game. People are able to shut it down too easily. But um, so you have this. Like it has so many unique formations and plays and in, in, in like mini. They got jumbo. Like right here, jumbo pair. You got counter week, which was awesome before the patch. Yeah. You got a dive out of it. You got the stretch out of it. Would remember how good stretches were. You got a PA shot out of it. That's why you I got them. motion spot with a corner, uh, and then the, probably the most hell play of all of them. Right here, tight end drive. Like this play is just fantastic. So you have a dragon route, you have a drag, and then you get a post. Like a PA post, post. Yeah, that's the that's the post that is uh, that's the Z spot style post, right? It's the post that broke a thousand hearts. Oh, it's it, it is like going over all this. I'm like, how is this not the playbook that everybody uses? I I think it's one bugaboo. Ready, ready. 
does not have corner strike from gun bunch if it had corner strike from gun bunch i really think more people would use it let me see two quick other routes out of the backfield because i know people that watch this show they want to call different plays and they don't necessarily want to call everything give me like in the third the third and fourth set some of those wing deeps and some of the trips the halfback routes out of the backfield there's one formation that has one that goes left and then there's one that has a it goes right so you have corner strike you have that kansas city dig route super tough um and then if you keep going to the right you'll see that there's a formation that's got both of those halfback routes come out of the backfield so if somebody likes to use or what you're trying to do you'll be able to actually use kind of their their stuff against them so give me like six gun doubles is pretty good give me the wing offset maybe Does, doubles has wide receiver corners and does it have my play that post on wide receiver corner is pretty tough it's got a read option Drive sale could be decent. PA shot divide. That's a mini scheme waiting to happen. Uh, go, keep going, keep going. Give me that. Give me, if, is either that way? I think it's the yeah, other one. Verticals. Yeah, yeah, I think it's the other one. Yeah. So the verticals with the half, you know, the halfback route almost never goes this way, right? Never. So if I'm user in, I gotta think that Charles is gonna break to the right. Oh, and then he cuts left. He Kinda goes like underneath. You're pushing everybody back with those tr three routes, and then you got that route come under underneath and well, and that. You gotta like to have the backside uh, combo it with the chief the the route to Charles, and then you put Kelsey here on a on an in great route combos right there because you got a double. So Kelsey on an in. Show that one more time. Double whammy. Little double crosser. This could work. Right there. The problem becomes the B route just is not what it used to yeah, be. Yeah, it's not. It's going to get slowed down. Plus, yeah. you got match coverage. Yeah. Um, that could that could really slow it down. So those are some formations you can go to from this Chiefs playbook. Gibbs, at the start of the year, you're saying it was the number one book? Number one book. And now, is it top 10? Top 10 for you? Still there. I think it's still there. Top uh, 8? I think it's still top 10. I, I, I think there's so much. I remember when I ran it, I was like, you got yeah. so, there's so many things you can What's do. What's it got in pistol? Anything? Uh... Not nothing great. nothing think, crazy. I, I don't think it has triple. It does have the triple. That's what's fantastic. See, it's got so much. A lot there. And the, I think it's got one of those plays that has the corner, the C route in the back. If you're climbing the, the wide corner, if you're still climbing the leaderboards and trying to get better, you could probably run near close and and win a good chunk of your games just by knowing like how to use quick audibles. Like just this and alone, this route to Sherman, just hell. Like that's just a hell route. It's been a hell route for a decade. Like, dude, there used to And he's to, lined up in a weird dude, spot. Dude, there used to be, I don't know if you remember this at all, Farles, but there used to be a play, gun two back. Uh, you had a corner, a slot corner, and then you had a post. And then your your two halfbacks in the backfield both ran these routes. It was called halfback circles. Most One of the most hell plays in the history of that because you could just snap throw these things out of either edge. And it was like old school. Like, remember, why did you double shake how good that oh. play was? Mm. Imagine it ten times better, both sides of the field, and like, how do you defend it? Because it, it, when they would run man, you would wait for them to come back out and, and turn into a quick like slant. Yep. And hell, just hell. Ah. Good place. All right. Ah. Chiefs, we're putting it in the number eight spot right now. I would say number one, Denver. Denver or did it go Denver. down in popularity no, because Denver, of the title of the ten? I would probably say Saints. I, I like. It depends. It depends what we're really talking about. Are we talking the one, the one percent of the one percent? Like we're talking, yeah. we're talking the top thirty-two players yeah. in the match. It's like oh, I can't park my yacht in Miami, right. so I hate Miami. I'm more right. of a Tampa guy because right. that's where my yacht goes. If, if we're talking that yeah. crowd, I'm gonna say I would say it's between like Arizona, Rams, Saints, a lot of Rams, Broncos. Ram Saints kind of similar. Yeah, it's that mold. It's they. It's because they want that gun tight. Jumbo. They want that gun tight. Um, so it's like you really see him gravitate to those three books, the Zona book, because the great gun tight. Um, then you have uh, the Rams and then the Saints. So that – All out passing. Those, those three, I would probably – A little bit of Browns that. mixed in. Yeah, 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 yeah As sure. a balanced book for have, the regular folks, the have, common man out have, there, man of the people. Browns, Colts, you're going to have – Same. Uh, Broncos is definitely going to be up there. Packers. Uh, I've seen some Packers. I will say this, and I'm, I emphatically believe this. The Packers, and I've felt this the entire year, the Packers book has the best gun bunch in the game. Hands down, the best gun bunch. It's got the best audibles, and it has every play you would want to have that's effective in gun bunch. Like, Broncos doesn't have the curl flat corner. You need the curl flat corner. It opens everything up for you in the gun bunch. 
All right, there it is. You heard it here, good playbooks. But yeah, revisited the Chiefs. Good to go take a look at it, see how she's doing. See how she's Pro doing a couple years Arizona later. Playbook. Yes. The single back jumbo has a halfback dive as an a run audible, and it has a halfback stretch as an audible. So you come out and counter weak, you get a PA shot play as your quick audible, then you got the tight end corner play we just went over. One of the most complete under center formations you're going to have in the game. I like it. Left, middle, and then right with the stretch. Sounds good.